All right, so in this video, we're going to be following along with a tutorial that everybody keeps pointing out, you know, for what I'm trying to do. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to composite um, chroma key video inside of the Unreal Game Engine. And the thing that I'm running into, and pretty much everybody is running into, is uh, what this guide, what this tutorial does, does not exactly match what actually happens when you try to follow along and uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this uh, because I was I mean I've been trying this for months and I got so many different projects created I'm going to just create a new project from scratch so that you know you can see what I'm doing and maybe spot what it is that I'm doing wrong uh, I don't think I'm crazy uh, so here we go, we're going to do, 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 new project. Um, she's gonna set it up as blank. Uh, video demo, all caps, and this time I am spelling it like this. So I got so many similar projects, projects already created. So we're gonna give it a, uh, a minute or so for the the project to be created. And I've tried it uh, different ways. I even found one at some point that allowed me to just drop the video directly into the software. Uh, I was able to map the video into a plane, um, but I couldn't figure out how to do the, uh, the green screen. And at some point it stopped working, so I have no idea how to replicate it. Um, so here, let's take a look at the tutorial itself, okay? So basically, load composure steps, enable the composure plugin. And we have a little GIF image here that, you know, allows you, to, that tells you, you know, to go into the plugins thing and search for it, enable it, and then we're gonna have to restart. So that is easy enough to follow. Edit, plugins, type in composure, there it is. We enable it and we hit that restart now button. So we're gonna give it a few seconds for the project to restart. And I'm using Unreal Editor 4.23 right now. Um, I'm pretty sure that this tutorial applies to a much older version. Okay, so it is now enabled. And uh, basically, the tutorial says, after you've enabled the plugin, uh, open the compositing tree panel listed as Composure Compositing in the window menu. Uh, I think, because I have done this so many times in the past, uh, the little tab is already there, but it's like Windows, Composure Compositing, so it turns off and turns on, whatever. Um, I guess it doesn't turn off. <laughs> okay, whatever. It's there. So Composure Compositing. So that's basically what that uh, image is telling us to do. This one here. Um, so next, it says, after you've enabled the plugin, the compositing tree, composure in the window menu, la da 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 it's right there. Uh, add the root comp element. Next, we will want to add a root element to our compositing tree. Steps, right click in the compositing tree panel and create a new comp from the menu. Select empty comp shot from the pick comp class dialog. Woo! All right, so basically I'm supposed to right click in this area, select new comp, click the empty uh, comp button thing. So let's do that. Create new comp empty comp shot it creates it default name just leaving it there when it's activated it shows this little empty thing i'm going to go ahead and click the pin preview thing because i noticed that if i don't do that whenever i click away it uh, it goes away so this is just going to make it stay on there um next um this element will not render anything immediately as it represents your final composite. This element will be responsible for combining all other elements. Tip, for portability, make sure your elements are added 
to their own sub level since elements ha are level actors. This lets you load your compositing tree in other maps. I don't necessarily know what that means, but I don't think I need to worry about it too much just yet. Uh, I guess it just means that I'm supposed to give them their own little uh, tree thing. Uh, step three, add a media slash video element. Okay. Once you have a top level comp created uh, element, you need to add child elements. Child elements feed into their parents for compositing. Fair enough. So steps, one, add a media plate to the comp tree. Okay, so we're gonna click here and wait a minute, okay. So we add a layer element and then there's the media plate, add. So it doesn't necessarily do what this GIF image is doing uh, but it does put it in there because when I click the media plate one, it does bring it in and there is that. I'm gonna pin it also so we can see what's going on. It's black. Um, they have done some fancy stuff according to this as tip. Without a media source, the media plate element will be blank. Okay, that's fair enough. It is blank right there, that's that one. I'm gonna go ahead and hide this one because I'm not using it. Because um, this is basically the one that the GIF image is displaying. It says, um, you can set up a default still image like we have in the GIF above in your game config file. So basically the reason they're immediately uh, pulling up this image is because they have pre-done uh, this thing in the game settings file thing. I don't think this is also something that I need to do in order to get this work. I think this is just for the purpose of having something default whenever I add one. Uh, at least that's how I understand it. So I'm gonna skip having to do this because if it was really that important, I'm thinking they should have already put it up there and this is just a tip. Um, so we have our media plate, our plate is blank. So set your media source. By default, your media element will not be connected to a media source such as a streaming video. You can apply a media texture to act as an input in the element's details. Okay, select the new media element. Then in the details panel, find the media source section under composure inputs. The media source texture property will be empty. Okay, so far so good. Basically, they already have a media texture set up. They didn't explain how to do that, but from reading other tutorials, uh, I've managed to figure out that I'm supposed to create a media player and uh, add a media source and then have the player play the media source. It's really, really, uh, I don't know, like convoluted bunch of steps that I guess could easily be, be done by just grabbing a video and just dropping it in there, right? Uh, why can't we just do that? Um, I mean, by the way, this process, what I'm trying to do can be easily done inside iClone. I mean, you can just drop a transparent video in there, it'll work, you know, as an image plate. Uh, I don't want to do it in iClone because the Unreal Marketplace has so many uh, game assets and um, environments that are basically going to make my project a lot easier to work with. I can just buy those Marketplace assets and uh, work with them, uh, whereas the iClone Marketplace, I mean, they just don't have anything. And of course, the rendering quality of the Unreal Game Engine is so much more beautiful. The lights land in there. Uh, the shadows are created, all that stuff works. Uh, and that's another reason why I don't want to do it just in After Effects, you know, compositing, because I also have to play around with in After Effects, you know, matching the lighting, matching the motions, uh, recreating the shadows, making them, it, it, it's, it's unnecessary. I know that if we can get this done, the image plates we will simply work within the environment. It'll catch the shadows. It'll catch the colors of the environment around it. It'll work in real time without having to do a lot of, you know, clicky dicky stuff. 
Uh, so anyways, back, uh, I digress and uh, we're going to go back to uh, the tutorial here because this is where everything goes uh, wrong. So uh, from previous tutorials, I have uh, basically managed to figure out that I need to create a movies folder. And in this movies folder, I need to bring in my video and let's see here. I think I should be able to just drop it in here. But just dropping it in there doesn't really do crap, which is stupid. Uh, it should already make it work. Uh, if we double click here, we get a little thing here that says that it's not in the proper directory. Now, why the hell does it allow me to do anything if it's not going to allow you to use it? So they tell you to go through this process and then uh, rework it so that this video is in there. <laughs> it's kind of stupid, but okay. So here's our video. This is our our, our movies folder. Fine. Um, let's see if we can find it. We're gonna take that same video again, and we're gonna move it there. Now we select it and open it. Now we rearrange it. Convoluted steps don't need to be done, and apparently I've done everything correctly now. Uh, hit save just to make sure. Close that. So we have our image plate thing and it should work. Um, so now in order to make a texture, I right click in here and I have to do a media player because I don't think I can do a media texture without a media player. I don't know, I could be wrong. I'll have to experiment later. Uh, media player first. And previous tutorials, I've also seen that when you do this, the media player thing uh, has both video and audio sources. In Unreal 4.23, I only see this video option. So there's some stuff that's just kind of getting away from all the tutorials here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that, select okay. So there's my media player. I'm just gonna call it walk. And once I do that, it automatically creates the texture that I need, which is this thing here on the um, GIF image. But I need to load up this image plate into the video. A lot of convoluted steps. It's just, to me, it feels really stupid to have to go through all this, but I'm not, as long as it works, I don't care, you know? Um, we're gonna double click there, and uh, we're gonna double click this plate um, video now it doesn't necessarily play right off the bat. You gotta kind of wait it out. Uh, maybe it's like a buffering memory thing. Uh, so once you start playing, okay, now it shows. Gotta put a loop thing in there. So it just kind of plays forever. And there it is. I don't think I need to do anything else that's extra special for this. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't see anything that I feel like I need to do that's uh, extra special just to get this going. So here we hit save, um, close that, and now we have our, our video texture. All right, and this is where everything goes wrong. Um, according to this GIF image, you go to Composure Input, Inputs, and Media Source, and you take that media texture and drop it in there into the media source. All right, fair enough. Here's Composure, Input, Inputs, Media Source. There's the empty media source option. We take our texture, our video texture now, drop it in there just like the GIF file. And uh, yeah, nothing happened. Now, in most cases, this actually turns white, so something does happen. But right now, it stayed black. So what is going on? Do I need to save the file? New map. Okay, fine. Oh, look, it's white. Um... Do I need to do something special here to uh, like maybe play it? This thing becomes suspended. I don't know what that means. It's definitely not playing anything. Hit stop. Uh, 
build? I don't know if that's what I need to do. Uh, I don't know what, I don't know. I mean, this is it. After this, there's nothing that I can do. There's nothing in the documentation that tells me where to go next. Because the moment they did this, the inputs media source, there's the media source, drop the texture, boom. Why does it work for them or whoever made this tutorial and not for me? I followed the steps pretty much exactly how they did it. Did I miss something somewhere? Um, media textures. Um, okay. Good here. We'll do this again. There, and now it's white. I don't know why it disappeared there. Oh, reset to default, uh, of course. But, um, okay. But why does it not work? Okay, so at this point, I'm stuck. I mean, it, you can't move any forward. Er, after this, the tutorial assumes that everything worked out, and it goes on to the um, removing of the background part. Another thing that I don't understand is how the heck is this supposed to allow me to place my video within the game engine so that I can have this character walking around, interacting with the objects, uh, creating shadows, casting shadows, receiving shadows, uh, maybe interacting with particle effects or something. Um, I mean, that's obviously something for uh, that still needs to be explored, but I got to get past this one step right now. So if anybody has any information on how to solve this, uh, if you want to give it a shot, I did upload uh, this video, so if you, uh, this green screen video. So if you want to grab it, play around with it, see if you can get it to work, please do it. Uh, let me know how you got it working. Thanks.